Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Battletech playthrough. Now, um, we're just doing some change around of our, our, our things, so we're going to have uh, our guys out of action for a while while we do some, uh, not repairs, but we're just, just rejigging all of our things. And as somebody's pointed out to me, I'm, I'm apparently a little bit blind when I go to look at the store, because um, uh, there's something in here. 3.3 million though, guys. But I mean, it's 75 damage, so we're going to be getting ourselves an extra Gauss rifle here. Um, yeesh. We're going to need to be doing some missions for money, though. Oh, this must be a former... Oh, we've got some heat stacks. Oh, they're only 240. I guess they're not as OP. I'm going to grab ourselves a couple of heat stacks. Because they still weigh three tons, whereas the double ones are half. Um, it's unlimited of them, so I'm not going to go nuts. Uh, so this must be a former Star League system. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. They don't like me, so actually things are becoming more there. expensive. Ah. Um, Principal is one of the judiciary. Doesn't seem to say it is. That's the black market. You can get things in black markets as well, guys. That is one of the things. It's just less likely. So I've been very lucky to get that, that Gauss rifle. Now, um, let's just check the Haring Hall. See if we've got any particularly good there. No. Right. Let's have a look at our missions just to work out if we need to travel somewhere for any of these. So, one million four star... Uh, in a desert, and we've got a nine million, uh, a nine hundred k one here. And we do need to start upping our reputation with these guys. So, this one is in a tundra. Benefit that's so I don't have to move. That's seventeen days. Um, right, first thing we're going to do, we're going to take the one here first, but we just need to let some time pass, guys. Unfortunately, so this is just letting it go past. Also, once this mech bay gets fixed, all of these guys should. You there you go, much or quicker, because obviously we've got the um, four extra tech points from doing that. Let's grab this guy, give us an extra two tech points, and we'll have our, our mech bay fully done. And it's just going to be this one, which is really expensive. Oh, no, that's not so bad. So we're getting close to having a fully, fully repaired Argo, guys. Um... It is going to be after the financial report when we can next do our next mission, and we are low on funds, so we do need to start doing missions. I've got the financial report. But that Gauss rifle was worth it. Oh yeah, hang on, there's something else I need to do. So we've got one, a few months free time. Now, before we do anything else, we are going to be using this Gauss rifle. How heavy is the Gauss rifle? I could replace the AC-20 with it. Um, hmm. Weighs 15 tons. And weighs 8. And weighs 14, so slightly heavier. Hmm. That does 120 damage at close range. But having the Gauss on there, I mean, you've seen what they do. Hmm, I would like to have it on, but it's can I really justify it? That's five, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Hmm. And we need to take a reasonable amount of ammo of this as well, because it only comes with eight rounds. No, we'll start with one. So we're two tons overweight here. Um, that has upped our heat efficiency quite a lot, actually. So let's pull one of these heat stacks off. Okay, that's working. So we've now got this for our really long range. 
Um, we've got the SRMs in there um, as well, which are 170, uh, 270, 270. So this is a really long range. You know what? This arm is just getting a butt ton of extra armor. No offense, this Gauss rifle is the most valuable thing on this mech, guys. So, um, hmm, how heavy is a large laser? Five tons. No, we've got good heat efficiency here. We've got massive firepower. I'm happy with that. And this Gauss rifle means we can do, oh, you see, I could replace some of these. I just feel I'm a little low ranged. One, two, three. Hmm. That murders my heat though. We'll give it a go like this. That's not going to be a long fit time. Um, and see how that goes. Because this is a really nice long range weapon. Um, its damage does seem to be lower than I remember. I seem to I mean, 75 is still really good damage, guys. Let's, let's not get that wrong. Um, you know, 75 damage at extreme range is great. And it's got a reasonable minimum range as well, which is the nice thing. So we can still use that quite close in. Now what I might want to do is I might want to rejig him to a more medium range mech long run. But we'll work that out as we go along. Um, because rejigging him into a more medium range mech would actually mean he's probably more useful. So we might just pull off a lot of our short range stuff and put some longer range stuff on there. Oh no, we're good to go now. Right. So this is five and a half stars. So this is going to be tricky. This is a battle. Within the last three months, um, the local pirate organization has struck our facilities, personnel, supply convoys, and supply convoys over half a dozen times. My superiors of the Confederation leadership would like to score a blow. We'd like to hire you to find a pirate lance and destroy it to demonstrate that we are not um, without military. We've, we've had this. We've had this one before. Okay. Hmm. I'm going full money on this one. No. We're going to go 50-50. 500k is still good. Um, we will still gain some rep. This is the rep bonus. So, yeah. Hmm, right. Ah, it has automatically pulled him out. Oh, he's there. I was wondering where he was then. So Jet is getting the Stalker here. Um, which is my LRM, massive LRM boat, guys. We've got the King Crab with Retriever. Um, I should probably put my Scout in the Highlander. Hmm. No, I'm keeping my Highlander with her, with Glitch, because Glitch is just godly with that. I should have her put Hardball in that for this mission, because he's my better one, but getting Retriever some extra experience isn't necessarily a bad thing. And um, that mech is very nicely armoured, is very armoured, guys. And let's be honest, it's very armoured, it's got huge firepower now, so uh, we should be able to start pulling things apart with it. The only thing I said I might do is I might make it more of a medium to long, so we might put an LRM bo uh, some LRMs on it as well, but we'll have a think about that, because I generally play the close range game. In like, long run, we'll probably have mech set up for everything, but it's always difficult to work out. Um, destroy the enemy forces. 
I suspect we will get enemy reinforcements here as well, so we'll have to see how this goes. We're not going to have uh, issues here with uh, heating, hopefully. You've arrived at a location our employer specified, Commander. Move forward, acquire a target, Lance, light them up. Keep an eye out for reinforcements. I get the impression these folks are a bit twitchy. Oh, yuck. I do not like this map because this is really, really open. So, um, Jet is going to set up on this ridge line while the others move forwards and they're going to try and get. On my way. All right. Get down here and draw them into us as best we can, but this ridge line is going to be nasty to deal with. Hmm. I'm not liking this, guys. We're going to try and head over here, actually. Copy that, and Commander. come up from this side. Don't need to tell me twice. Moving out. Jet's going to dig that stalker in there. We have quite a lot of firepower there. Sorry if you can hear me drinking. As I keep mentioning, guys, it is boiling in this room at the moment. Standing by. How much ammo? Yeah, we are a bit less Stand ammo than we were before, but... 600 rounds should be enough. Oh, damn! So we found their reinforcements before their main lance. Warriors. Show them what you got. Okay, Jaeger we should be able to take him out fairly quickly. Jaeger with a missile set up. That's different. I've not seen that one before. So that's a missile Jaeger guys. A 70 ton. Oh, that's Grasshopper. Oof. More worried about him. Crack him. Oh, that. That was beautiful. That's going to be a problem. I wasn't expecting their reinforcements to be quite that close. We're in a bat. We're not in the best situation here. Ooh, that's a 90 ton. Oh! Is that what I think it's gonna be? That might be another, um... No, this is, she's not... Yes, that might be a Highlander. Got it. Let's kill that Jaeger mech. I can definitely call him out. Um, I don't want one. He's dead. Yeesh, we're using vigilance here. That's two 90 ton mechs behind, guys. This is going to be this painful. Be good. I was getting a bit worried there. That was taking a little bit too much more killing than I was expecting. Yeah, we have multiple enemy Highlanders, guys. That is that not is right. going to be fun to deal with. Let's leg you. I would very much like to get us another Highlander or two. Perfect. So he's lost a leg. We've got Retriever with that very nice setup there as well and a very heavily armoured mech. 
So she can actually get away with moving forwards and engaging. Oh, that was the grasshopper we hit. Alright, oh, never mind. Waiting for orders. Hmm. Roger. Alright, we're gonna finish that grasshopper. Or not. I put a gas round through him. Oh, we missed. I missed. Mm. I might need to pull back here. This is this is bad. It's where I don't really have anywhere to pull back to. Oh god. Nice try. Waiting for orders. All Let's try and finish him. God damn, close though. Enemy mech, critical damage detected. What's on that arm? It's the SRMs, I'm not so fussed about losing that arm. What can I do for you? Okay, that'll do. No problem. Hopefully we'll finish this guy off. Really? Keeping him still for now while we clear things out. Come on, people. Let's make it happen. Right, that's that grasshopper out. So we've got, I suspect, two Highlanders here and one Highlander up top, guys. So, uh, yeah. I'm here. That'll do nicely. Bringing a nice chunk of firepower together here. Yeah, we can leg that. Ugh, I can't target that leg. It's not worth the risk. I'm not going to core it in one go. I'm not going to waste that precision strike then. He's got enough armor at the moment to not need to be braced. In fact, I'd quite like him to shoot my king crab because my king crab is a beast. Oh, that's beautiful. So that's really nice damage there, guys. I would absolutely love to get myself another Highlander. Um, it would be I'd be going back to King Crab LRM boat potentially, but I would love a second Highlander in here. Because they're nice, they're mobile, they're armoured, they're, they are just beautiful mechs. If, even if I take lots of damage here, getting a Highlander will be worth it. So long as I don't lose anything too bad. My Atlas is in trouble though. Sheesh. My Atlas is going to need to start sprinting to safety here. He moved. He's not moved. We are reserving until after this guy moves.
It's fine, they're spreading their damage at the moment. I can cope with that. I fell right into this trap here. Um, I'm, I'm in a bit. I was hoping this rock would cover me, but it obviously yes, isn't. Let's just give him a, give him a good peppering. It's nice. Perfect. Jet's heat is becoming a bit of an issue. That's why I didn't do an aim shot. Because if I'd legged him, he'd have just got straight back up anyway. He might get out of there now. Please keep hitting my king crab. My king crab is a chunk of metal. Waiting for orders. I'm receiving you. Which leg? Roger. Well, that wasn't the leg. I should have gone for the other leg. I say this, he's still got good armor. Waiting for orders. Oh, well, no subtlety. Go. Let's just hope we get good hits. Oh, yeah, we're not getting anything from this guy. However, I don't think he's going to be able to do much now. Wow, everything just exploded on him. Steady. Okay, let's move over into these trees. That stalk is probably the bigger threat, but oh, let's multi target then. See how we do. Not much there. And not much there. I should have focused one, guys, but, you know. I'm a bit worried he's going to get knocked over. Reporting minimal damage. Batter that stalker. It's nice. We're, we're bringing up some weaknesses in him. Let me get back up. Let me be next. I'm losing armor bad. Damn. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. Warning. 
Enemy sensor lock detected. Straight up wildfire. Straight up. If we move closer, do we get out All of right. line of sight? No. Back in action. Focus fire that dragon. That'll do nicely. We're burning through his armor. Oh god. Internal structure damage. It's got a double heat sink, but it doesn't have the Gauss rifle on it. Waiting on you, Commander. Stand in by. You're gonna keep pushing up this way to get yourself nice and close. There we go, another Highlander. Let's hit him. That'll do well, and I'm just going to keep pushing there with him. Um, and Glitch is going to move back to support over here. Oh god, I might. This might be time to punch out. God damn, he is taking a battering. Good to go. Jump glitch him. Hmm. God and an awesome. Let's try and finish this dragon off. He's already damaged. Damn. He might be harmless now. This is gonna hurt. Oh no! By all means go for my Highlander. He says watching the damage go... Wow! Doing that to get his name shot on something else. Oh, I was getting worried we weren't actually going to do that then. Okay, that Highlander's pushing forwards. Please keep charging my king. See, my king crab is great for this. Uh, he can do this on his own. He'd almost be better over the other side as well, because he can just walk into them. Yes, Commander. Which is the real beauty of the king crab, and he's actually good in melee as well. Hmm. Go on, shoot the Highlander. I shouldn't have asked for that. This is getting serious. That's that's the worrying bit. Waiting for orders. Hmm. 
Yeah, we should be able to burn through that. Come on! Oh, that's gonna be close. That awesome is painful. Reporting internal damage. Worries, mate. Wait, what? Oh, he's turned off. Did I waste a precision shot on a turned off a mech which was turned off, guys? I think I did. Oops. Mech warriors, show them what you got. Right, wildfire is punching out. Um, I don't want to risk losing that Gauss rifle. Yeah, wildfire is punching out. Armor break. Um, Internal damage. If I can. Oh, oh. God. Commander. And she's injured, I'm so here. yeah. Wildfire. I'm receiving you. Punch out. Nothing wrong with that. You're very damaged. You've got very valuable equipment on here. Regained um, so. Let's, go. let's get you out of there. Oh no, we can take this. Oh, that hurts. Ouch! Commander? Good to go. Standing by. He is actually hurting us a damn sight more, but I'm not going to crack him in a single go. Commencing Alpha Strike. Oh, that's nice though. That's where we want to be hitting him. So we might be able to crack him next time. Oh, we made him worry. Waiting for orders. Fire an owl weapon. Oh! That's perfect. That means we're going to get three bits of that because we managed to blow his head off. I think that's the first time I've managed to actually head an enemy mech. I'm actually getting quite tempted to punch, punch glitch out as well. say perfect not if it kills me not if it blows something off but he's not got his thing anymore I should be able to burn him open we are getting damaged come on damn we didn't hit with everything oh my god Acknowledged. Two rounds of our Gauss rifle here. It's got to be done. We've got to go for that centre. Roger that. Come Target on. Confirmed. Perfect. I wish I'd taken more salvage on this, guys, because if I'd gone max salvage, we'd have like multiple Highlanders off this, which would be beautiful. Yeesh. So that's an SRM six plus plus. We plus plus plus. We just lost. There are worse things. Did he shut him? Oh wow, that was foolish. I'm gonna choose to overheat myself to try and get that leg shot.
Not that I need the leg shot, but it's easier to knock his leg over. Oh, that's beautiful. I said, I really wish we'd taken more salvage on this mission. We are going to get a lot of bits of Highlander, and I do love, I do love my Highlander. Let's just try it. We weren't going to hit that, but. No Gauss rifle ammo left. Let's not shut ourselves down. I'm liking the Stalker, I'm going to be honest. Jet has done a very good job in this Stalker. Now you're back up. I don't think they can do anything in the round, but get back up. Commander? Let's just finish Roger this. That. I'm quite shocked he survived there. I thought we were definitely going to get him down. We've got plenty of Highlander parts, so I'm not that fast. Woof! Enemy eliminated. Wait, what? Oh, he just said we had hostile contacts inbound. I was terrified then. Okay. Mission that! That was a... Brutal, which they, we were just out positioned. Um, thankfully, we had the firepower to deal with it. If I tried to pull back, I'd have taken more damage than just digging in, guys. So we got 600k for that, which will probably cover our repairs. Um, eesh, we get a lot of repairs to do out of this, though. Couple of wounds, nothing too bad. My stalker, that's from me overheating it, guys. Right. Hmm. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. We could have made two Highlanders out of that. Let's just have a double check of everything else. Not that there's going to be anything which is going to stop me taking a bit of Highlander. So we have a new Highlander now, guys, uh, which is very, very nice. Um, trying to work out what I'm going to swap in for that. The King Crab's nice, but it doesn't have the mobility of a Highlander. Um, and we can pretty much clone my current Highlander with that new van of a Highlander. My Highlander is one of my best mechs at the moment, guys. So if we clone my current Highlander as my, um, that'll work very nicely for us. Okay, it's not a normal Highlander. It might not be the same loadout, because mine's a Lost Tech Highlander, isn't it? So this has... It's got no physical weapons, so I can't put the Gauss Cannon on here. It's got a PPC instead. Oh, that's depressing. Hmm. Do I have any bit? So, 7.3.2.B. Highlander I've got unique guys. I don't know if any of you guys know that. Is this Highlander I've got unique? Can I not get one like this? Um 
mean, don't get me wrong, it's still a very good bit of kit, but it's definitely not the same. Um, I mean, it's normal loadout, still very good. <clears throat> anyway, we need to do some repairs. We need to refit you, because you lost an arm. I'm depressed, I thought the Highlanders were all the same. Um... Oh, I can re Right, so we need to put a new SRM on here. And some extra SRM ammo. I know the 6 instance heat efficient, but this guy's got so much heat efficiency, it's unbelievable. I'll let you know when that's done. This one's a straight repair, that's going to take a while because we did structural damage. I may have blown my head off. We lost a heat sink, which isn't too bad. I can cope with a lost heat sink. That setup actually did work very nicely, so I'm probably going to stick with that, especially as I can't put a Gauss rifle on that new Highlander. Um, I'm a bit depressed by that. I thought I'd be able to. Um, I could turn... Ooh, actually. Let's see where what how much space I have for missiles, because I could use him instead of a Stalker. Right. Because he's got a lot of room. So. LRM 20, LRM 20, LRM 15. And a PPC, which is what our current loadout is. I'm not actually setting this up now, guys. I'm just trying to work out how well it would work. So our heat efficiency is obviously trash there. And we would be hugely armoured to the point I can actually almost put extra on here. And let's not forget, I'd get all the extra, extra efficiencies. Hmm, see, by doing that, we do lose. We're definitely going to put it on this guy, because we can have the same loadout, the same loadout with more armour and more mobility, which just... That stalker has basically become irrelevant after a single mission. Um, and we've got huge heat efficiency there with this setup, guys. Um, we've got masses of armour here. Which means we could almost... Uh, I don't care about that arm. Uh, one of these aren't, isn't done. Ah, there we go. Oh, something's not equal. So I'm just trying to tweak this to work out what we could actually do armor-wise on it. He'd be at range, so he really doesn't need huge amounts of armour everywhere else. This arm can be lower. Not that I would necessarily want it getting blown off, because it does me mean we take damage through. So, 
that would be really durable, almost full durability. It's more mobile. Um, we can also chuck some jump jets on here if we wanted. I could almost pull one of these heat stacks off, in fact, uh, and chuck some jump jets on to make it very to make it mobile as well. Not that we have any jump jets which will work on it at the moment, but we could could definitely put jump jets on here. Um, and we can be pretty much completely armoured, guys. And we're not even badly armoured on our rear here. So yeah, we're going to be doing that. I will probably do that offline, guys. I've shown you what my thinking is here. So we're going to be stripping off my stalker and redoing this guy instead. Um, so we have found a use of that Highlander. So that stalker was was a good mech for for its one use. Uh, it's still a nice mech. I will probably keep it as a backup mech, but it's not going to be being used for now. Let's just check my barracks because we do have a bit of leveling up to do. Hmm. I'm received. Waiting for orders. Glitch. Well, I mean, we've got a choice of one tree. Glitch is almost fully done. We're also far more steady now. Not that Glitch needs that, but maybe we should be moving Glitch to one of our other ones. There you go. All over on there. It still works nice. Oh, you get extra sprint as well and extra evasion, which will work well for jet setup, especially as he's going to be more bouncy now. Waiting for orders. Hmm. There you go. Upping that overheat threshold is also very nice. Commander. Um, just save on you, thief. Let's up our tactics to full. Yes, Commander. I'm here. Okay, that's nicely done. And we are going to leave this one here, guys. Obviously, we've got a bit of time before we're going to be able to go again. Not that much longer, and we'll be jumping into a mission. We'll probably be moving while we're doing those repairs, guys. So... As always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this one. That was a fun mission, actually, guys. Um, I, I Thank you for watching after we finished the main campaign as well, guys, by the way. Just a little bit of housekeeping. Um, if you are watching this, thank you very much. YouTube has changed the way the sub feeds work. I should have said this at the, at the, at the start. So I won't necessarily always appear in your sub feed when I drop a video. If you want to make sure you see my things, a couple of ways to do that. Follow me on Twitter. I always put everything on there. It's linked in the description. On my YouTube page, there is a little bell symbol. Click that so it's always notify and it will always notify you when um, when a video is dropped. Unfortunately, it now uses the um, some sort of algorithm to work out what appears at the top of your feed or is about to start doing that, guys. So I might not always appear. It doesn't always appear in chronological order. So I hate to say it, guys, but likes, dislikes, and comments really help me. So if you dislike the video... By all means, dislike it. Please put a comment as to why. If you like the video, please chuck a like in. And please for, chuck, drop some comments if you feel like it, guys. You can also jump over to my Discord and say hi there. You could uh, hi there if you want and ask any questions or tell me how I keep selling things in the shop accidentally or missing things like Gauss rifles. It really does help me, actually, guys. Um, I've got much better tactically at this from everybody commenting. There's also a link to my Patreon. Thank you very much for your time, guys.